let us look at this uh, topic of normal stress and strain let us look at this prismatic bar now what is a prismatic bar if one may ask a prismatic bar is a straight structural member with a constant cross section area with cross section area as a constant value so throughout its length throughout its length the cross section is same it can be said that the cross section is a okay the length of this prismatic bar is l now this prismatic bar is being acted upon by a load p which is trying to pull it apart when it tries to pull it apart when it tries to stretch it the prismatic bar is elongated by this much amount let us say this much amount is delta l okay now let us now investigate how these stresses are being produced inside the body let us take a section mn let's cut the body from this section okay we're cutting the body from this section and then we look at this diagram now what is happening this side of the load is being applied but this side of the body is removed there's no body on this side it has been, it, it has been removed so the material on this section would try and exert this pseudo force okay in a direction opposite to this force so this pseudo force let us say these are small small forces which are being acted upon by the material in the opposite direction okay now if you look at let us say the let's go back a bit let us say the sum of all these forces internal forces is sigma fi now the definition of stress it says that it is the internal resistance provided per unit cross section area of the body okay so but if we take the equilibrium condition then the internal forces is equal to the externally applied load okay and this means that sigma can be written as p by a this is the more popular definition that we know about okay now let's talk about the load that we would normally encounter in this topic the two kind of loads that we would encounter is tensile and compressive there is one more kind of load that we would encounter that is a shear stress that would be discussed in another video uh, of the series now let us look at what a tensile load is and what a compressive load is you know compress a tensile load basically elongates it stretches a body compressive load it shortens a body or it tries to reduce the length of a body now when you have tensile loads acting you will have tensile stresses produced and due to the act action of compressive loads you will have production of compressive stresses let us denote tensile stresses as sigma t and compressive stresses as sigma c now tensile stresses are always assumed to be positive or they are taken to be positive and compressive stresses are taken to be negative why because you know whenever uh, the tensile load acts it actually increases the length so whenever something increases it's a positive sign and compression always shortens that is it decreases the length of a body and whenever something decreases it is regarded to be negative now moving ahead if you look at the if you look at the you know uh, diagram again let's look at the diagram again the stress which is acting here the the stress which is acting here is basically perpendicular to the cut force this is the cut surface and the stress is acting perpendicular to this cut surface so when this happens the stress that is produced the stress that is produced is known as 
normal stress so when the stress acts perpendicular to the cut surface the stress is known as normal stress and when it acts parallel to the cut surface then it is known as shear stress now this is quite an important kind of stress which would be actually described and explained in a separate video moving ahead